Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing good. Sorry for the disturbance behind if there's any. Really sorry for that. Mm, uh, obviously, recording in the basement. <laughs> so another thing, I've been I've changed my channel to a you know review channel, owner review channel. So that's why that is a thing I have uh, changed because I don't want to do gaming anymore. So yeah, here. So I'm gonna review this car today. This is my own car, me meaning my own car, meaning my dad's. It bought it in 2012. So this is the i20 Sports with ABS. So yeah, I have switched on the light inside. Here you have the uh, what's the rear of the car. We have alloy wheels with this car. Uh, I think alloy wheels mostly only comes with the the Sports or the uh, or above models. So this is the Sports model. So we have alloy wheels. We have body colored. ORVMs over here and the uh, and the indicator on the OR, ORVM. Here we have the wipers over here, good quality wipers actually. I would say we have used it for more than uh, what's a five year? No, we have used it for eight years or so. so. This is the front of the car. I'm sorry about that. We go here. We see alloy wheels again. We have the fog light, a big fog light, <laughs> halogen lights over here. Over here, the high beam, the low beam indicator. So yeah, sorry, there are dents and everything. We don't fix that. <laughs> don't, don't need to waste money. So uh, this car con started from 2012 to um, 2014, I think. So yeah, uh, in the 2012 model, you have the plain fog light. But then in 2014 and 2013, you have like a DRL over here, daytime running lights. That's the only difference, actually, main difference. <laughs> This is a petrol engine, obviously, because we don't use diesel. I don't know why, but my dad doesn't like diesel. On the only difference in the uh, spoiler, there's a spoiler in the Astra version, which is not this. This is a sports. Astra is the highest model. You have a spoiler right over here. It's a big antenna here. <laughs> it's a bit broken, not broken, but then the paint has come out here, but it's no problem. <laughs> this is the light, obviously, behind over here, light. We have one one rear uh, what's that? Forgot the name. Rear uh, what's that? When you put the car into reverse, you get this light on. This light is for the fog light. We have fog light. You have indicator and normal brake lights. Here, and you also have a camera here. Get it only on sports and above models. Uh, and you have and you even have the this thing, the parking sensors on the back. Even have rear reflectors on the bumper. Yeah, that's it on the front actually. I'll uh, uh, that's it on the outside. I'll show you the engine afterwards, but let's go inside the car now. It's open, so let's go in. Let's climb in the driver's seat. Ah, just wait. It's not zooming out. I don't know why. Okay, close the door. So this is the steering view out of the car. You get a normal view outside, good view, you hear as well. It's a big massive window, you can see easily outside, no problem. <sighs> then you get the, then you get the lights here, I just locked the car. If you, if you uh, press this lock or that lock, the, all the locks, uh, all the car locks work. So yeah, that's the thing. It's a big, <laughs> big uh, Hyundai logo with the chrome. Here we have the, Caller settings, uh, not caller settings, caller, uh, no, what's that? Uh, settings only actually, I think. So radio settings over here, you can mute it, you can change the radio, you can increase the volume. Then you have the infotainment system, not any digital one, but still impressive. So that is there. You have the hazard light here. In Astra and all, uh, Astra models, you get, uh, uh, what's that, a passenger seat belt warning. It's not there in this uh, this car, obviously. So there's a trip meter here for tripping and everything. So here is the the time, the degrees outside, the kilometers it has run on the petrol that you can change, and then the date. It's a small LCD screen, but no problem. Here, this is not. Uh, this is like we have done it on our own. The gods, obviously. So uh, we have done it on our own. Uh, not uh, come with the showroom. You get, you actually get a god, whichever like a uh, uh, the religion you are, 
you get a god so you can put in your car but then we decided to do something else here is your display from uh, the steering wheel normal everything then you have the gear gear knob here you got the chrome bit over here bit of storage here bit of storage here bit of storage here and then here as well the handbrake here with the chrome thing i don't know what that called but it is there you have 12 volt charge 12 volt charger here you can either have a cigarette lighter or a 12 volt charger it's your choice we went for that because we don't smoke don't smoke guys it's injurious to health you get the aux cable here we have the usb cable here and ipod same thing you have a bit of storage here we have put our chargers you have a glove box here we have some stuff here we play cricket so that's some balls <laughs> then yeah that's it and then you have the uh, what's the ac vents over here you can adjust it no problem here and then you have two ac vents here for the passenger as well as the rear passengers you have one over there no no nothing in the back so yeah that is one thing just switch on this one the slide so you can see clearly yeah that's it and you have adjustable headrest over here both the sides so no problem in that seat belt everything so if i uh, switch on the car you get all these all these um, warning lights about the car like service check engine light abs then you have the oil pressure everything seat belt battery and then uh, airbag warning power steering everything so in this you uh, this is a petrol engine so we have till 8000 rpm the rpm meter or the tachometer whatever you want to say it then we have the speedometer which goes up to uh, 220 that is actually good uh, not good anyway but then uh, we have only pushed it to 160 maximum on the highway <laughs> then uh, we have the uh, orvm outside then we have the uh, orvm controls that are there i don't know if you can see it but then it's there these are the window switches and then this is the rear window switch lock here is the i don't know why i can't see it i don't know why but can you see it now i think you can yeah this is to fold the outside mirrors it makes a noise weird noise you can see i'm recording on mobile here hi okay you couldn't see that never mind you have chrome door locks and um, door handles in the inside then you have this you have the uh, what's that uh, the wiper controls over here we have automatic wiper which goes on its own if you just flip this does that once we have to check if the wiper is working then whenever it rains it does that we have the indicator switches right over here yeah here so yeah indicator normal anyway normal then you have flashing headlights pretty uh, what's that pretty uh, bright it's pretty good you have even the oh, wait if i switch this on i do this something special happens just go back one minute you have the rear fog light right here rear fog light pretty bright you can see the range if you could see on camera i don't know if you can see but it's there that is there i'll just switch the light off or else i'll drain the battery you switch that off you switch this off normal yeah that is the thing over here on the front then you have the uh, mirror over here pretty big mirror for what this car is actually needed this is for the rear camera i can't switch it on now because it's without my parents uh, permission and uh, not without my parents permission i cannot switch it on because uh, if i switch it on it will be bad i don't know how to drive here <laughs> this is the light over here pretty big light so over here here you can switch it off that over here we have the sun visor here you can use to keep your ticket over here it's a glass pretty good glass i'm not going to show face i want to do face reveal same side on the other uh, the same on the other side here pretty good and the view outside you can see pretty good view no problem at all just switch it off i don't want the battery running low we go, we'll now go in the back oh god my dad has put the seat very front doesn't fit my size if we go back it's very decent space here 
get the normal view you get one power switch obviously it's behind there there everything and the, the room the leg room is okay it's not that bad i can stretch my foot and everything this is all the way back so i can check here as well one minute i'm sorry for that but yeah so it's pretty tight i can't move my head headroom is pretty good you have lot of headroom here and then i saw i don't know if you could see that but yeah headroom here you have the uh, cargo cover which is optional if you want to take it you can take it there oh there's a bug here if you could see that there's a bug <laughs> don't want to get that in the car obviously yeah the mirror all the stickers that hyundai give you when you buy the car everything okay now we'll go to the boot space i think there's something in the boot i'm not sure there might be something wait i'll just keep it open just in case i think yeah there is my dad's kit bag over here we have lot of space so i think 326 liters of boot space then when you get the seat down it goes to 1000 135 something yeah might be that then we'll just go to the engine here a minute yeah if you pull this lever i don't know if you can see it it opens up the engine over here is a fuel lid i don't oh no you can't see it i'm so sorry but there's a fuel lid there you can open the fuel lid close it partially i don't want to get locked so here i just open it it's a bit of a hassle oh yeah i almost opened it oh, oh it's a bit heavy ah oh. so this is it's not a under it's not automatic you have to hold this thing down but i won't do it now i'll just show it like this it's a battery over here you have the engine it's obviously a four stroke engine it has a 80 83 horsepower 84 horsepower close to that we have 114 newton meters of torque then uh, it's a, it's a petrol engine so it has lesser torque compared to the diesel engine but it's all right it's enough power for me to love it i was loud i'm so sorry about that so headlight there what are we everything sorry for the disturbance of people walking around but yeah this is the thing the thing here i don't know if you can uh, turn on the ah yeah here so if you put the ignition on you can check the rear view camera it's pretty good quality it's not adaptive it is the old way old school way the one thing i like about this mirror and the uh, reversing camera is that it is like a bugatti <laughs> bugatti veyron's reversing camera it has the same leather so you just you just do this holding the clutch obviously i can't do it without the clutch i'm doing with the clutch or else it'll spoil the gearbox hold it put it in reverse the mix noise there it is <laughs> that's a good one it's an amazing feature on that you have light when you switch on the light turns everything on you have less fuel now it also shows the temperature gauge of the engine the engine is actually pretty good on in uh, taking air once we went to like a almost a 1000 km trip i think it was uh, 800 or something but almost 1000 approximately it didn't go above 90 90 this <laughs> one thing we have driven it for 96000 kilometers i'm hoping we do i'm hoping we do uh, 1 lakh i don't want to sell this car it's like my little brother <laughs> that is a thing here yeah. that's it actually there's no nothing else about this car that makes it different just a normal practical car that you have in your uh, garage you lock the steering wheel do that do that everything and you're ready to go back home the only thing uh, the only major difference in this car and the other i20s is wait lock oh no wait one minute i'm so sorry to switch this off switch that off sorry for that now we go here we have to close this one locked it done nothing else 
So you get disc brake in the front, I forgot to tell you this, you get disc brake in the front, drum brake at the back for the hand brake and everything, yeah, here. Hmm. And you have auto rain sensing wipers that you have a sensor over here, comes here, I'm sorry for that, someone's riding a scooter, you get auto uh, sensing uh, rain wipers, so it senses on its own whenever rain comes and then does, does it on its own. And that's it for the review. If you enjoyed it, please share it, subscribe it, and like the video. I'll get more reviews like this. If you want any car or any bike or any scooter for the review, I can give you. If you want a ride review, I'll do it soon. Thank you for so much for watching. Bye.